Uh, good afternoon. Uh, the underlying theme to Goliath Resources is uh, global climate change. Uh, what we're seeing is glaciers have been melting at an extremely rapid rate and the permanent snowpack is no longer there. So what we're finding at all four of our projects is a brand new widespread outcropping of gold, copper, silver and molly. Uh, our business model essentially is looking for brand new elephant sized type of deposits that will tick all the boxes for a senior miner to do a strategic investment, a partial takeout or some type of a joint venture. Uh, our team leader on the ground, Bill Chornabay, uh, put these pa uh, package of uh, properties together for us in 2016 and uh, he's had multiple deals with a lot of seniors, most recently a $53 million joint venture with Newmont at uh, his uh, plateau project uh, up in the Yukon. Um, my background's finance. I've been financing Bill for over 10 years. Uh, when I saw these package of assets, I thought, hey, this could be the next opportunity to find the next uh, SK Creek uh, or uh, a Pretium. We've got four projects in total. Uh, this year, we're going to be focused at Lucky Strike uh, for many reasons. Uh, the first being there's uh, infrastructure all around. We've got logging road access three clicks to uh, the main power uh, line, uh, three kilometers the highway, and then about 40 kilometers to Terrace, BC, where there's additional infrastructure. And you can see by the map just to the south, we're about eight clicks to the uh, CN rail, which takes you to a seaport access. Another key reason for Lucky Strike is if you can see the little squiggly orange uh, lines there, fingers, uh, that is actually a Placer Creek. It's got some history to it. Uh, back in 1884, a uh, prospector from the Bahamas discovered Placer Gold uh, at Lauren Creek. Uh, within two days, they took out $600 worth of gold. Uh, in today's terms, that would be roughly $40,000 uh, in, uh, in gold. So that initially started a gold rush in the area. This creek uh, essentially produced over 13,000 troy ounces of Placer Gold. Uh, the opportunity for Goliath shareholders is they actually never found the hard rock source. And we believe uh, we have found that hard rock source at our brand new outcropping gold copper molly uh, porphyry system, which is uh, 1,200 by 700 meters in area. Uh, it was discovered by an uh, independent geo that we hired for the summer last year. Uh, she's uh, spent her entire career in this porphyry belt. She's co-authored multiple papers. She's independent uh, geo for uh, uh, up at Galore Creek with Tech and Newmont, as well as uh, does some work for uh, Pretium. So uh, 2017, we did some silts in the area. We know there's gold in the creek. We know there's a source uh, somewhere. We had a high of uh, 406 uh, PPB. And uh, that led us to, or actually, uh, our independent geo porphyry specialist locate uh, and find this uh, beautiful uh, outcropping, uh, outcropping porphyry system. And here's a short video for you folks. situated in west central British Columbia, 40 kilometers north of Terrace. The property has logging road access and is only three kilometers to a major highway and high tension power. The property extends over 27,000 hectares. Goliath is pleased to report that 2018 chip and grab sample assay results, in conjunction with detailed mapping by a porphyry specialist, has confirmed a large outcropping area of copper, gold, and molybdenum mineralization as part of a porphyry center. The discovery was made at the headwaters of Lorne Creek, the most prolific placer creek in the area, where over 13,000 troy ounces of placer gold has been historically produced with nuggets up to 1.5 ounces. Along the headwaters of Lorne Creek, a series of silt samples were taken during the 2017 season. These returned multi-element anomalies, including copper, molybdenum, and gold values up to 406 ppb. The detailed mapping defined a large precursor granite diorite body that was subsequently intruded by a monzonite porphyry that is associated with a large 1200 by 700 meter alteration system that is cored by a zone of quartz sericite alteration. The core is coincident with a gold bearing chalcopyrite and molybdenite stockwork that has grades typical of a porphyry system. The mapping also highlighted a spatial link between polymetallic, lead, zinc rich veins and copper molybdenum rich porphyry centres.
The discovery of this new copper, gold, molybdenum, and porphyry and outcrop is certainly very exciting. The upcoming 2019 drill programme is being designed to test this new porphyry system that has the potential to quickly evolve into the next big discovery. Okay, so essentially, uh, if you can see the high concentrate of samples taken just below the, the green uh, in the picture there, the alteration zone, we'll be building a pad big enough to drill uh, three holes, uh, various directions, up to uh, 700 metres. And there may be a decision to uh, drill as well, just above the creek bed, about 30 uh, metres just above, assuming we're getting the same type of mineralization that we're actually uh, seeing at surface. Uh, I've got samples at my booth, E7, you want to come by. You can actually see the molly, but you can't see the copper or the, uh, or the gold. Uh, we, as far as values go, we almost uh, had highs of uh, 2.95 grams gold, 4.5% copper, and 0.34% uh, molly. That's a short video of just to show you the actual terrain of what the guys are, are dealing with uh, this season. Goliath is pleased to report that 2018 chip and grab sample assay results, in conjunction with detailed mapping by a porphyry specialist, has confirmed a large outcropping area of copper gold molybdenum mineralization as part of a porphyry center. Let's down the, the back side. Mapping on your left there. Porphyry that is associated with a large 1200 by 700 meter alteration system that is cored by a zone of quartz sericite pyrite. The core is coincident with a gold bearing chalcopyrite and molybdenite stockwork that has grades typical of a porphyry system. The mapping also highlighted a spatial link between polymetallic lead zinc rich veins and copper molybdenum rich porphyry centers. The discovery of this new copper, gold, molybdenum, porphyry and outcrop is certainly very exciting. The upcoming 2019 drill program is being designed to test this new porphyry system that has the potential to quickly evolve into the next big discovery. Okay, so that's our, our porphyry uh, system we'll be drilling this year. Again, never been drilled before, never been documented before because it's been covered under ice and snow for thousands of years. Uh, we do have uh, three other uh, projects. We have. Uh, other drill targets picked out, but I've only got uh, two minutes uh, left here to, to finish up. So why invest in Goliath? Great quote from Rick Rule, looking for early stage project generators, essentially what Goliath is. And then uh, Eric Sprott, uh, for those that uh, know of him, he's got you know, quite a bit of money invested uh, in this area. He's a huge advocate. I think 45 million is a little light. Uh, great uh, company here, uh, GT Gold. Actually, you just met the new uh, the new man in charge in the back of the room here. Uh, far left is the, they were looking for epithermal, poor free 2017 stock basically, uh, you know, 22 cents, uh, hit a high 276. That would have been roughly a 13 bagger if you sold at the peak. Uh, another great company in the area is Garibaldi, GGI. They were looking at uh, outstanding uh, Brett or uh, Breccia's uh, outcropping at surface. They hit 2017 as well. Stock went over five bucks. That would have been a 44 bagger at the peak. And then uh, here's our chart. Uh, you might be thinking, hey, these, they all look very similar because it is such a short window of exploration for news and so on. They typically uh, you know, are very quiet, Q4, Q1, half of Q2, and then things sort of ramp up uh, getting into the, uh, into, the, into the season once uh, these companies get mobilized. So to dovetail all these together, uh, we're currently trading at a $7.7 .7 million market cap. Uh, GT Gold, Garibaldi, both trading between sort of 80 and 90 million. Actually, I'm surprised uh, GT is not at uh, double that or triple because uh, you know they just did a deal with uh, Newmont uh, Gold Corp Corp, buying 9.9 percent .9 of the company. So uh, the business thesis is we hit at our uh, Monzonite Porphyry system this year. We do have another drill target. It's an epithermal to the south of Lucky Strike. Uh, you know, there's a potential 10 bagger for any investors that come in. Uh, once the dust settle and a potential 10xx upon uh, 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 discovery hole, uh, and we'll be mobilizing sometime in June uh, for drilling, and uh, hope to have every you know the season wrapped up uh, for us sometime July August with uh, assays you know uh, September October uh, depending on uh, how the labs are. Thank you very much. Come by and see me.